Hey guys, what's up? My name is Art. I'm back for another video. The last couple of videos I did was based upon some personal life stuff, which is fine. And if you like that kind of things, just let me know. But, you know, I do talk about per stuff that happened in my personal life. And sometimes when I get, re you know, when I get um, responses, it kind of helps me put things in perspective. But that's not today. Today I want to talk about a comic book. <coughs> Fall weather, it's here. Okay, one of my favorite characters is the Punisher. My favorite one is Spider-Man, but my, but one of my other favorites is like the Punisher, close third. Okay. Now what happened was every now and then I will pick up a Punisher run. I'll read it for a hot second and I'll stop it because it gets boring. The Punisher is an anti-hero. Basically, what he does, he kills he kills his bad guys. That's why they don't return. Okay. Unlike other costume heroes in the Marvel Universe who has a no-killing policy, even Wolverine can kill sometimes, but in the last couple years, you don't really see him killing that much or that violent that much because of other stuff, I guess. Maybe because of the movies, too. Who knows? But anyway, Punisher kills. The first, if you if you saw the Punisher movie with Dolph Lundgren, that was a very good low budget movie, which I liked it. Which came the classic line, "Where is God? Where is punishment?" Whatever. The second movie with Thomas Jane, that was a pretty good movie too. You changed the you changed the origin a little bit to fit what's going on, and that's fine. Punisher Wars, War Zone. Yeah. That kind of sucks dick. It really does. And then technically Punisher doesn't get re I mean tell you the truth, um it didn't get r better. The character never really got better until I saw the Netflix show. The first season was pretty damn good. It's a little bit slow at times, but it's pretty good. His part in Daredevil season two, in Daredevil season 2 was amazing. But his second season, oh my god. The first part was kind of very slow. Now it's a little bit better. Now, I want to talk about issue 12. See, I didn't get the first part of this, so I'm going to talk about issue 12, 13. I love this picture right here. This picture is cool. 13, this this cover is awesome. Wilson Fisk becomes the mayor of New York. I'm trying to figure out when that happened, but oh well. This part is cool too. This cover is awesome as well. And this cover is awesome as well. The end of the story arc. Okay, now here's the thing. I read this. I think it's, it's a pretty good story. It's a part two of what he was doing. He goes after Baron Zemo. Now Punisher usually... Punisher usually does well against Mafia. Every now and then some terrorist kind of stuff. Every now and then something like that. But basically, if you want to do an army story, the Punisher would fit in good with that. A gritty crime story, the Punisher fits in good with that. Mix in some heroes? Eh, sometimes, sometimes, yes. <clears throat> so Baron Zim, he goes to Baron Zemo's, uh, I missed the first arc. So I'm going to try to pick those up to try to figure out to, and read the whole story front to back. Um, something like that. I'm still trying to figure out why.
and he's decided to go after Baron Zemo. Alright, who is head of Hydra, or of offshoot of Hydra, who knows. I'd... Since I got back into comics recently, I really don't know exactly what's going on with a lot of things. Back in the 90s, I had, a, I, even though I read certain books, but I kind of knew the whole landscape of what was going on. Early 2000s, yeah, I kind of did. Yeah, I kind of got out of it because it was boring. Everything. You changed, a lot of people, they changed things to try to make it better, and it kind of didn't really do it for me. But, again, back into it. So, what happened was, he goes to he goes to where Baron Zemo is, got captured, and decides to kill Baron Zemo. Baron Zemo is usually a Captain American villain. Baron Zemo's father fought Captain America in World War II. So, Baron Zemo is usually a Avengers slash Captain America villain. How the Punisher get involved in this? I don't know. <coughs> if, you, if you know, let me know. <coughs> so, what happened is, he gets free and he goes back to New York. Baron Zemo flees, his, flees the country he's in because he's terrified of the Punisher. This is the man in the past who fought Avengers to a standstill. Sometimes even defeated the Avengers with his own group of the Masters of Evil, other superpower villains. He beat the Avengers. Of course, Avengers got back and beat him. He fought Captain America to a standstill. He's a very good hand-to-hand -hand fighter. Baron Zemo also tricked everybody into believing that they're good guys called the Thunderbolts. <laughs> so here's the thing. So why is this guy running from the Punisher? That doesn't make sense to me. But I guess for story-wise, it works. It's kind of like, um, for example, if you saw any of the new Star Wars movies, to a person who saw the original trilogy, these new s series kind of doesn't make sense because these are not the characters that we saw before, but for the story, it acts as normal. So I guess this is one of those kind of things where you guys suspend the belief of this guy, and what happened, he has his own set of criminal bad guys and an army, and you're scared of the Punisher. You go to New York to form a truce with Wilson Fisk, the, the kingpin, who technically is a two-bit thug who runs a criminal empire. Why would Zemo run to this dude and ask him for help? For story-wise, it works. But this is not the Baron Zemo that I grew up reading. And the, and the campaign is, tell, is basically verbally giving him the smackdown. And I look up and it's like, wait, hold on a second. The Baron Zemo that I know, he'll march in, he'll march in and say, this is what's going down. If you don't like it, we're going to war. And true, he even though he is the mayor of New York and he could do all this public stuff, but he knows the kind of damage that Baron Zemo could do. And... In theory, the Kingpin will technically, he will try to not back down, but he will try to appease him in any way, shape, or form, so he won't screw up some stuff. Okay? So he whips up all of New York against the Punisher. Hence the idea of this. New York versus the Punisher. Okay, fine. Then he gets a group, then they assemble a group of uh, characters. Now, the funny thing is, Moon Knight, awesome character. Black Widow, awesome character. Night Thrasher, he's he's a eh. Ghost Rider, awesome. Punisher, wicked awesome. There's something mismatched here. Night Thrasher don't kill. Moon Knight has killed people in many occasions, but he usually tries not to. 
Black Widow, of course you know she killed people back in the day. And of course, Ghost Rider has killed people. And you know he does. So imagine who he basically teams up with mostly. Ghost Rider. <laughs> goes after that. Goes after Baron Zemo. Goes to Wisdom Fist's uh, you know, palace, whatever you want to call it. Wrecks up the shit. His masters are evil. Gets captured. By... I mean, here's the thing. His masters are evil. Usually will fight Avengers. They'll get captured by the Avengers, and they're powerful. These guys... These guys, the only person with power is Ghost Rider. And they get... And most of them gets captured? Wow. For story, I can understand. But in real life, I mean, you have the, he has Radioactive Man, who fought against Iron Man. Gets captured. Really? I'm reading this, I'm like, what the flipping up, flipping up, flapper. Whatever. But for the story purposes, it works well. So, of course... This guy named Ghost, who showed up in the, he showed up, he's been around the United, you saw him in Ant-Man versus the Wasp, Ant-Man and Wasp movie, you saw him there, you saw Ghost there, not, Ghost was a guy, but in the movie it was a female, no big deal, pretty much phases him out. So is Baron Zemo dead? Of course not, you can't kill Baron Zemo like that, so he's probably just you know, you get him out of the way so that way everything goes away. Punisher goes after Kingpin. Even Shield. The Punisher goes to Shield for help. That's the only way. The, the only way the Kingpin will survive. The Punisher. He has to get Shield involved. And of course, Nick Fury knows the Kingpin is slime, but because of the fact that he's the mayor of New York. And he, he kind of has to save him. Of course, the Punisher is like, fuck that. I'm going to kill the Kingpin. Natasha, Black Widow, shoots him off the building. And all of a sudden, Flame shows up. And so naturally, we, we, you haven't seen Ghost Rider comes up and rescues him. And takes him away. But anyway, like I said, this story arc right here was baffling to me very good story very good story now say for example if this was if he was if he was going against maybe like jigsaw or silvermane or something like that this would be a lot better but i mean tell you the truth, it just didn't seem like the pun it's like i said it's a good story don't if you get a chance to read it, read it. It's a very good story, but if you've been a if you know some of these characters like back in the day, these this some don't see some seems off. So, I mean, this is a like I said, a very good story. I just that certain things just didn't make sense. But I still bought it and I'll recommend it. With that, I'm going to go. Talk to you later.